Don't open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't try to peep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Here we are. Oh my God. Vincent, your home is beautiful. Wow. Thank you. This is amazing. I know. Thank so, you. So, offer me a chair. Should I sit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sit here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though my wow. mom still says this is a house, not a home. Really? Yeah, Why? because there's no girl in it. So, it's just me. So, it's not yet a home till I bring a woman. Oh. And it looks like you agree with her. She's kind of like, right, Sha. Oh, well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your house is beautiful. The decor. Did you do this yourself? Yeah, yeah, I did. I need a bit of inspiration from Pinterest. But then it actually gives me a sense of peace. Oh, I can imagine. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Um, Rosemary, you know I said I wanted to tell you something. Yes, and I, I, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. What's up? I'm in love with you, Rosie. Okay. Uh, look, ever since we were kids growing up, I have been fond of you. Even before we became friends, I I just been you know thinking about you a lot and I want you to be my girlfriend. Um, sorry if I look I'm surprised. I'm just That's fine, I understand. Okay, well um you know, Vincent, honestly, you're you're a smart guy, you're intelligent, you're brilliant. And I remember how you helped me back in school, <laughs> my classes. What are you reading? What do you know that you want to read? Ah, uh, mommy, now come on, let me read my book pen. I will get you your pen. I want to just read the scripture with you. Go upstairs and get me a pen. Fine, fine, I'll get you your pen. Okay. For too long. No, my queen. For you, I'll wait an eternity. Ah, ready. You look supernaturally beautiful tonight. 
and Judy will talk about it. So. Thank you. <laughs> so, can we get going? You don't have all that? Yes. And Rosemary. So I called them already. I told them that the table is set. I believe they'll be done shortly. Okay. Your sister. She has gone to bed. Ah. Has she had dinner? I asked her. She said she doesn't want to eat. Go and call her. Okay, Daddy. Downstairs now. to tell her to come downstairs. I did, and she said she's feeling sleepy. Go back and call her. Oh, Daddy, I told her. Come on, go and call her. <laughs> Have you eaten today? I'm not sure. Rosemary, guy, there's problem, there's problem. Dad wants to see you downstairs now. Wait, why didn't you tell him I'm asleep now? You should have said I've slept off. I told him now. See, if I go downstairs without you now, I don't know what this man would do. He come back upstairs and look for you. I don't know, you have to think of something. Okay, okay you know what? Don't worry, I will, I will figure something out. Have you heard? Okay, bye. Everything okay? Um, <clears throat> everything is fine. I just need to make a call. Yeah? Just okay. give me a second. Um, he hello, Daddy. Rosemary, I asked you to come down here and you are calling me. Daddy, I don't feel so good. You know, my monthly period just started and I'm having lots of cramps. Oh, my dear. I'm so sorry. Do you care for anything? No, Daddy. I'm okay. I just want to listen to music and sleep off. Okay, I love you, Daddy. Love you too, dear. Yeah. What did she say? She said she's having a menstrual cramp. Or... Ah, you better let her be. She's always cranky and 
very, very aggressive whenever she's on her mental period. I know that. Okay. And you can eat your food in peace. Hey. Why are you staring at me like that? Who should I be staring at? Your drink, perhaps. <laughs> Funny. I'm not in love with my drinks. Are you in love with me? Even the blind can see that. Okay. Rosemary. I don't want you to just be a friend. I want you to be my girlfriend. Will you be my girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm a boyfriend. Mm. Hey, officer, I greet you. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening, officer. What's up? Show me your driver's license. Driver's license? Yes. Okay. These people, they don't need driver's license now. Just give her 200 naira. It's okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't do that to Nigerian police now. I should give her to her. I should bribe Nigeria police. Do you have driver's license? I do have driver's license, my brother. Don't insult me. I'm never, never you insult Nigerian police. I'm sorry. How will I bribe police of, 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 of the Federation? I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. It's only being stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's my driver's license. Are you traveling? You are asking for driver's my license. My friend, will you shut up? Don't do that now. Yeah. No, don't do that. I do have driver's you license. Have don't do that. It's not nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What is your name? Afonso Cousin, aka Mr. Speed. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. I work now. One more thing. When you're driving at night, do not increase the volume of your music. You're disturbing the neighbors. <laughs> Officer, now that one, that one no concern you now. <laughs> I told you. I told you. you have to be very careful. No concern you now. Be very careful. I don't respect you. You should be very careful. Open it. Open it. Let them pass. You tell me more than increase music. I don't understand. Let me put you for here. You are not understand. Now I'm for. No further time to make you.
Iya. Iya. Officer, officer. Good evening, oh. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How is everything? Fine, fine. Yeah, fine. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah. Um, can I see your papers? Uh, <laughs> officer, uh, I know say the night is long there. Yeah? Even if it's just cold water, no <laughs> I use and drink. I asked for your papers. You are bribing me. No, 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 no wait. So you are part of the bad people we have in Nigerians, spoiling the Nigerian name, right? Spoiling the police force. It's, oh, okay, officer, let me add something on top. I know you're getting a little bit... Will you shut up? I'm talking to you, you're adding something on top. You want to bribe an officer of the law. It's, Do you know what you're doing? It's not bribing. Do you know what you're doing? Um, officer, please calm down, please. So, sorry, please. Okay. sorry, don't be offended. Okay. <sighs> Just give me, give me your papers. Yeah, I'm stolen. Why? 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 We must, we must not go to the station. Uh, officer, wait. You guys wait now. Wait. I'm talking to your guy. Yeah, move, yeah, move. Sir, move, move. move. I said move this car. We're going to the station. Okay, what do you want me to give you guys? My friend, move. We can move. 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 There is nothing to say. Let's go to the station. Now. Sir, so this is not fair. Huh? Oh. What are we supposed to... But you know, but this thing is something we can sell to the officer. If it's one, in the, okay, just hold this one. Let me add, even if it's one key. I let said, me add one key on top. Now, this is exactly what I don't like about Rosemary. Eh? Look at the time. She literally left this house telling me, oh, I'll be back in one hour, 30 minutes. This is literally almost three hours, and she's still not back. Is it a crime to do someone a favor again? Is it a crime? I'm having a bad feeling about this. I just, I'm having a bad feeling. I don't like this silence at all. I don't like this silence at all. Not one bit. Baby, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. My friend is coming with the papers. Once he's here, we'll get out of this place. Sorry. Freddie, your friend had better come to this place with the papers. He had better come here with the papers. Officer. Hello, Doris. Rosemary, what is this now? Don't you know what the time is? Uh -uh. Doris, you don't even know what happened. I'm in big trouble. I'm at the police station. I didn't do anything, no. I didn't do anything. No, the, the car we used wasn't Freddy's car. What should I do now? Should I tell Daddy? No, 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 don't tell him anything, please. I will sort it out myself, please. Don't tell him anything. I'll be home soon, yeah? Okay. Which one is police station again? Uh -uh. We have a problem. What is it, Freddy? My friend said he can't come this night. Huh? I'll be here tomorrow morning. Oh God, Freddy, you want to kill me? Freddy, you want to kill me? Which kind of problem is this now? My officers now, please oh, now. Officers, it's not like this. This paper is there. My friend, will you behave yourself? Auntie, please, please, God will bless you, sir. Let me still call you. Sir, please call this your friend, no? Auntie, please. please.
That is. Ah, uh, mommy. Uh, hope there's no problem. No, nothing, mommy. I thought I heard a sound at the window. Are they closed? Yes, everything's closed. I closed everything. Okay. All right, mommy. Good night. Please, before you go to bed, make sure you off all these things. All right? Ah, okay. uh, yes, well I'll done. do that. Okay. Good night, Mommy. All right. Good night, Mommy. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm begging you. I'm trying to teach us I'm our in... work, right? No. Take this book and this pen. Teach us our job. I'm not <laughs> We are not teaching her to do oh. your job. Please. Oh. Uh, see, my friend, enjoy your bed. Enjoy. See time. See time. Okay, let one person stay. Let one person go. Let, let me go. I'll, I'll get the friend to go. Finds out that she's here, she will be in trouble. So, how is that my business? Is it my business? What is your problem? This my respect yourself. This my respect yourself. Don't provoke me. You're already doing too much. I'll give you 20,000 naira. 20,000 naira if you allow her to go this night. 20,000 naira? Yes. You should. Very, very sure. My friend, my friend, get up, come here. I'm sure they did you. You want to bribe an officer out of the door? <laughs> Are you mad? Calm down. One rubbish. Respect you respect yourself, this man. Respect yourself. Okay, that's it. Auntie, shut up! Let's put the spoil on him. That's all, that's all. They're going to say, I'm 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 going to say. This man, take your time. Take your time. Shh. What if, what if, what on fifth? If the money is small, you don't just stand and tell me. Oh, this small, small girls. Stay in one place. They will not stay in one place. Follow my little partner. Stay in one place. They will not stay. If you, if you call my name again. If you call my name again. If you call my name again. Did I call you? I want you to tell me the truth. Who is that young man to you? It's my friend. I trust him. So he's the one teaching you all those nasty things you have been doing? Eh? Don't you know the family came from? Don't you know that? Rosemary, so you had the guts to sneak out of this house to go and see a man? Listen to me. I don't ever want to see you with that guy again. Do you understand me? Yes. Do you? Yes, Daddy. Now get out of my sight. 
Where did we go wrong with this girl? Huh? Yeah. Keep going with the reading. Hey! Understand. I thought I spoke to you severally on the phone. Did you hear what I said? I really say anything on the phone now. What happened? You know what? Let me shower and rest. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you in details. Mm? I'll give you all the details. Hey, wait, wait. Did, did they lock you in the cell? Doris, can you let me rest? Can I rest? Oh, yeah, I'll be going again. Just go. To me now. When I wake up, I'll call you. I need to sleep. Eh, hey, this is what I get, Abby. For covering for you. Okay, you really cover for you. Vincent, I'm so happy that you completed your house and finished it. All oh, gratitude goes to God. I'm just happy that I was able to do it, you know. And you guys should come visit any time. Of course, we will. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> How does um, Tuesday sound? Perfect. Yeah. No, not Tuesday now. You know I'll be in school. In fact, I'll be busy the whole week. <laughs> it's mm, fine. Um... You guys should come anytime. Okay. My doors are open to you guys. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Look at you. <laughs> when are you done? In like a year or two. Oh. More than baby. <laughs> In a year or two, see about. Freddie, what do you want? I just want us to talk. I've told you for days now. I have nothing to say to you. I don't want to talk to you. Why can't you just let me be? Let you be? Yes. Babe, how can I let you be? I love you now. You love me, yet you made me sleep in a police station. Like, why did you lie and why did you say the car was yours? Oh, babe, you see this car issue. I'm very, very sorry about it. Okay, I didn't know it would escalate to that. I am really, really sorry. That's why I've been asking you to forgive me. Uh, uh, please, I'm begging you. So how am I even sure this car is yours? Eh? This how am I sure it's yours? This one? Yes. Ah, babe, I swear, this car is my own. You're even swearing. Is it good to swear? I know it's not, but I'm telling you the truth. Because this is my own personally. I use it for for taxi. Fred, you said you work in a logistics company. Uh, yeah, that's what? me telling the truth. Jesus. Logistics, movement from one place to another. So you're a cabman? Technically, yes, that's what logistics means. Okay. I'm sorry now. I've heard you. But does it mean you've forgiven me? Mm -hmm. I've forgiven you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing, my parents? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. You just want to put me in trouble. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Where are you going to? I'm going to see a family friend. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I was about calling a cab, but the taxi is here. So let's go. Service. Free of charge. Free of charge. Before. Free of all charge. Mm -hmm. Those police will not go better for them. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's my girl. Ah. Okay. No ACO. No ACO. AC no deal. Bam. 
Who is he? Yes. Don't open your eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't try to peep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Here we are. Oh my God. Vincent, your home is beautiful. Wow. Thank you. This is amazing. I know. Thank so, you. So, offer me a chair. Should I sit? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sit here. Mm-hmm. Even though my wow. mom still says this is a house, not a home. Really? Yeah, Why? because there's no girl in it. So, it's just me. So, it's not yet a home till I bring a woman. Oh. And it looks like you agree with her. She's kind of like right shy. Well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your house is beautiful. The decor. Did you do this yourself? Yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, a bit of inspiration from Pinterest. But then it actually gives me a sense of peace. Oh, I can imagine. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Rosemary, you know I said I wanted to tell you something. Yes, and I, I, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. What's up? I'm in love with you, Rosie. Okay. Uh, look, ever since we were kids growing up, I've been fond of you. Even before we became friends, I, I just been you know, thinking about you a lot, and I want you to be my girlfriend. Um, sorry if I look, I'm surprised. I'm just... That's fine, I understand. Okay, well, um... You know, Vincent, honestly, you're, you're a smart guy. You're intelligent. You're brilliant. And I remember how you helped me back in school, <laughs> my classes and all, but... Yeah. Present. Mm -hmm. I wish I had your type of brain. Why do you flatter me all the time? I'm not flattering you. Like, you're, come you're on. You're not equally as smart as I am. Oh, please. If you didn't help me in calculus, you know where I would have been by now. See, let me tell you something about calculus. Calculus is about, you know, knowing. It's a format. Vincent Okoye. Bishop. <laughs> My sir, how are you? Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Learn that you are the best graduating student in your school. I am so proud of you, my son. Come on, come on, come on, come on, give me a hug. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I know you are late for that. We're so proud of you. Ah, so what next? Masters or? I, I thought about it, and I think I should focus on my dad's business for now and defer my masters to later. That's a nice form of son. That is a very brilliant idea. And I pray that God will give you the wisdom to carry on, okay? Amen. Yeah? Congratulations, my Thank son. You, sir. My dear, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm sure I'm sure you'll be saying, why can't my daughter be as intelligent as this guy? Why did you tell You're me showing yourself in front of Why did you tell me the best career student? Oh, that's awesome. He's proud of you. Hmm? You're like a son to him. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> Let me just get this your phone. Let me collect it. Uh, collect it now. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you've done so well for yourself, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay, but um, I can't date you. Why? You know, I'm not sexually attracted to you, and. Vincent, we grew up together, so you're like a brother to me. I'm really sorry. Vincent, so you did tell me like this, say Rosemary don't friends with you. No, man. <laughs> she said we're like brother and sister. No, that's crazy. The one that is even bad is that she said she's not sexually attracted to me because we grew up together. She can <laughs> never be sexually attracted to me. Bullshit. Total nonsense, bro. So what did you tell her? 
What would I say now? I just said, okay. Woman, well, bro, I, I love that girl. Vincent, come on. Forget this girl. For Rosemary to have said that nonsense to you. She's not the wife material, okay? No, no, don't say that. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Be nice. <laughs> be nice. Nice, okay. I thought you said I was a misogynist. You are. You're talking about nice now. You are. You, you. Guy, go bring food, make me chop, I beg. Ah. No chop for us. Guy, I want chop. But bro, I love the girl, man. <laughs> Vincent. Why would she <laughs> say that? Why would she first zone me like that? It's not nice now. It's me you're talking to now. Tell me what's happening. Doris, I'm in big trouble. Which trouble is that one? Talk to me. What is it? See. Pregnant. God. Who's responsible? Freddy. Same Freddy. How can it be Freddy after everything that happened? You're still seeing him? It's Mary. Have you called him? Does he know? Responsible for the pregnancy. Hey! Freddy. Freddy who? Freddy. Not same, the same guy that made you sleep at the police station. Oh, Didn't I warn you? Didn't I want you to sell that guy? Hey. Oh God. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't go here for me! I see that! Looking for Freddy. He traveled out of the country. No, that's not possible. I spoke to him last night. He left for the airport by 6 p.m. Perhaps he was at the airport when you spoke with him. Um, could that be why his number has been switched off all morning? Please, do you know when he's coming back? I don't think it's anytime soon because he sold all his properties. Oh, Someone else has taken over the apartment. Oh, is there any problem? Okay, do you know what country he traveled to? I don't know. I think it's one of the Weibo country. Ah. Ah, oh my god. Freddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. Freddy. So what am I seeing you again? Hmm? Um, MC Wednesday. I'll come away. Wednesday? I'll leave on Monday. Uh, uh, I'm going to miss you now. Just make sure that your Wednesday is your Wednesday. Yes, now. 
you know, you're always hiding from me in public. You're always running from me in public. We want to street inside, not <laughs> outside. Anna, bro, your life is too much. Like you're not enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not just say anything. But I'll miss you when you're gone, Sha. I want for you. <clears throat> oh. Hey, bro. Your friend is here. <clears throat> Hi, oh. Arabo. Hi. So your friend is here. I'll start going. So because my friend is here now, you want to go? Yes, now. Huh. Okay. Okay. Your friend is just too troublesome. <laughs> Who is troublesome? <laughs> hey, I'm troublesome. Troublesome on boots. Okay. <laughs> All right, see you. Mm. Mm, I can't wait to get there. Oh, no problem. Nice Bye. to meet you, Anna, bro. My guy! <laughs> <laughs> bro, how far? I can see you are enjoying your new relationship. Bro, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Ah, flex, bro. How far now? How you doing? How did it go? Talk to me now. Eh, what did this? Did it deny the pregnancy? I hope this message meets you well. I'm in Europe now, and I don't know when or if I will be back. Eh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks for the times we shared together. Oh my God. He can travel to hell or Jupiter. Back out of my business. All I wanted to tell him is that I would never allow him to get married to you. If that was his reason for you, getting you pregnant. Huh? Daddy, Daddy, we didn't plan this pregnancy. It just happened. What have come over you? Huh? How dare you allow the devil to use you, Rosemary? How dare you? Huh? Do you know the gravity of what you have done? Do you know the gravity of what you have done? Huh? If you are on a mission for the devil, I will not mind that you are my daughter. I will treat you like an enemy. Daddy, I, I said will I'm, do that. Daddy, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Now, listen to me. You will never carry that pregnancy in this house. You will not. I give you to the end of this month to leave this house. Go so that the person that got me pregnant will provide shelter for you. Rosemary. What is she? I will never forgive you for this. Do you know the scandal and controversy this your pregnancy will get when it gets to the public? Do you? You have decided to embarrass us. No problem. I'm so sorry, it was no plan. You are an embarrassment. Bobby, please. And one more thing. Don't you ever try to remove this pregnancy. Bobby, please. messages on social media. What's this is scary. What is going on? Eh? Oh, no, no, no. Let's just be positive. Perhaps he has not got the time to check his phone. No, that is our mother died and face this Don't say you know? that. Don't say that. Why? Oh, no, serious. I Stop can't. talking like this now. And hey, you're scaring me. Don't say that. Everything will be fine. Don't Why is Rosemary? What is this? 
Everything will be fine. Mom. Yes. Mom, was Mary saying she's going to kill herself rather than to go with this shame? So let it be. Mom, how can you say that? Listen. Enough of Rosemary's battles. Did you hear me? Enough. Please let me be. Ha -ha. Good evening, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. You came to shop as well? Yes. Okay, uh, where are you going from here? I'm going home. I'm going in your direction. Okay. Let me just pick one or two things, then I'll drop you. Right, Is that fine? You. Okay. Just wait for me, I'm coming. Say. And then she was pregnant. Oh my god. Can't this girl keep her mouth shut? No. Does she have to tell this to everyone? <laughs> it's not everyone. She told me because we are friends. No, I can't do this. This is, this is too much now. Listen to me. Okay? It's not the end of the world. You will not be the first or the last to have a child out of wedlock. Vincent, do you know what my father said to me? She told me. What is important now is for you to focus on the way forward. The way forward is that I don't want to put up with this anymore. I can't. You I can't, can't face this shame anymore, no. Rosie, Rosie, listen, you can't run from your problems. You're just going to make it worse. Can you imagine? My own father says I'm working with the devil to destroy his name and his church. I understand, but... No, no. Vincent, you don't understand. You don't. Do you know what will happen to me when news of my pregnancy gets out? Blogs will feast on it. My father's good name will be tarnished. Like, my mom has sworn that she will never forgive me. Never. And look at me. Abortion is not an option. This Freddy, did he, he didn't tell you before you traveled? He did not. He didn't mention a word of it to me. And I spoke to him the night he traveled. Like we literally spoke for over 30 minutes. <sighs> you have been to her. sleep anymore because of Rosemary. I'm not going to fold my arms and just watch her face this shame. I can't. She's coming, sir. Thank you. Is Doris at home? No, just Rosemary. Okay, thanks.
Hey. Hey. Oh. Good morning. Hi, Ruth. How are you? Thanks, but honestly, I don't know what to say. I understand. Well, I can try to understand. Um, Rosie, there's something I want to tell you. Okay. Marry me. What? Let's get married. That way you don't have to face this shame. Vincent, why would you do this for me? Rosie, look. Your family is very popular. This pregnancy is going to bring a scandal to your home. You don't want that. Uh, uh, and you already said you don't want to face the shame. Honestly, I can't. So then get married to me. Let's get married. The paternity of the child will be known to just your family and myself. And besides, I love you. Sorry, I... Excuse me. Listen, listen, look. Just get married to me. And everything will be fine. Ah, yo. Man, everywhere is quiet. Just like the bachelor that you are. But what's <laughs> down, yo? Meanwhile, I'm getting married soon. Story for the gods. <laughs> for real, I'm not joking, I'm serious. I'm going to marry some. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you proposed to Annabelle without telling your guy? Ah, Joe, 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 Joe. It's not Annabelle. Who? Let me get us drinks. No, 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 no guy, you drinks now. Make me talk real much. <laughs> Let me get us we drinks. Go, we go drink later, make me talk. Sit down. Ah. <laughs> who, who, who? Tell me, tell me. <clears throat> You're not going to freak out. Why? Rosemary. What? Yep. I asked Rosemary to marry me and she agreed. <laughs> Come on now, Miss. <laughs> What's funny? You sure have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Joe, how is this funny? I'm talking about something serious and you're laughing. How is it funny? I asked Rosemary to marry me and she yeah. agreed. Come on, get the drinks. Don't kill me, Alec. <laughs> My guy, <laughs> finally off the market. If they, if you easy me, they go do it. I'm happy for you, bro. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. The newly married man gets first. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> man, don't go load my drink. I'm tired. Come on, man. come on, I'm come on, come on, man. <sighs> yeah. What are we choosing to better here, yeah? fruitful here? Yeah? <laughs> One of them. Okay. <laughs> Vincent, mm. how far now? Your wife is missing in action. She's tired. Tired? She's tired. Vincent, come on. She's supposed to be here to marry with us. Bro. She don't. <laughs> you are a man. <laughs> Now I know the reason for the rush. 
Well, now you know. Hmm? Cheers again, man. Cheers. Hey, and you're next in line. I hope so. You need to stop being a misogynist. <laughs> Bro. Man up and do the right thing. Be a responsible <laughs> man, huh? I keep telling you this. This lifestyle chose me. I didn't choose it. Come on. Well, eh? rap artist. <laughs> well done. <laughs> mm. I'm going to meet Madame. How does it feel like to be called Mrs? Um, I'm sure you make a wonderful husband, so I'm happy. Sure? Yeah. How are you? I'm alright, I'm alright. Why are you not smiling? <laughs> smiling. You're not happy? I am happy. Truly, I am. The only time I saw you smile was when we were taking pictures. I'm happy, trust me. You were downstairs for a while. What were you guys discussing about? Uh, mind you, I told him we are expecting a lady. I was happy for us. You did? Yes. Vincent, thank you very much. I appreciate this. I just admire my beautiful wife. Oh, really? So, how long have you been standing there? Less than a minute. Okay. We should get a cook. Why? So you won't stress yourself and the baby. Huh? I'm fine, Vincent. And thanks for your concern. Hmm? Can I help? No. But you can keep me company. I got this. Hmm? Babe! Babe! Yeah? Guess who's here? Who? Doris! Doris is here. Oh, honey! Oh, <laughs> Wait. Oh, my God. Sir, please need to calm down. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Nothing will happen to her, I assure you that, okay? You need to calm down, relax. <sighs> We're at the hospital now. We've been here for over 30 minutes and I've not still heard anything. I mean, I don't know. They say she's in the ICU. We can't even see her. I don't know what's happening. No. Thank you, Mommy. I'm waiting. What did she say? She's coming. She's coming here. Yeah, she's all that way. <sighs> How is she doing? She's doing very fine. Although she still feels a little body pain, but it's nothing to worry about. That will subsidize with time. She's fine. Um, yes, but we have a little concern. Doctor, what's the concern? Hmm. 
Thank you. Mm. 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 Oh, my daughter. Oh, my God. So, how is she now? She's responding. Doctor says she's responding and we'll be able to discharge her like end of today or something. Okay. Yes. Sorry. 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 It's okay, my dear. Hmm? Sorry. Thank you. Do you wanna sit here or you wanna go upstairs, the bedroom? I think I'd rather go to the room. Thanks, man. And your wife, how is she taking it? Hmm. Rosemary. Rosemary is a shadow of herself, but she's taking it in good stride, you know? Trusting God, having faith, hopefully we'll have another child soon. Most definitely. You know what? I gotta be on my way. Thanks, man. Yeah, my regards to her. Well, I should hear. Stay yeah. safe, bro. Thanks. things okay let me let me drop you um i had you on the phone earlier seeing you were going to the office soon it's fine i'll drop you off then come back mm, it's okay i already called the cab oh oh okay okay so i'll see you later yeah? Yeah, um. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't want to kiss me? Oh, I just I just came through a very traumatic experience. Like I'm not in the mood for all this lovely lovely stuff. That was, that was two weeks ago. But I'm not ready. Okay, I've heard you. Okay, so I'll see you later. Take care of yourself. You too. Make love like normal couples do. Okay, Vincent, I don't know how to tell you this, but I cannot make love to you. Why? Why? Is there something wrong? Do I smell? Is there something wrong? Because I've checked. See, see, see I, I can perform. I don't know why you're acting like this, but I've told you this before. You're like a brother to me. Did you marry I'm a not brother? I'm sexually attracted to you. Did you marry a brother? I'm your husband. You're acting like I've not told you this before. When you asked me out, I told you that you're like a brother to me. So why are you acting like this? It's wrong now. It's wrong. Even the Bible is against this thing you're doing. Are you, are you not a Christian? Is, is this how we're going to be? I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Please, please. I don't, I, I'm, I'm really tired, tired of all this I thing. I I'm tired. This. I don't understand this. I've told you this before. So I don't, I don't get where all Meg, this is I'm coming tired. from. Okay. I'm tired. Vincent. Ah. Every, 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 every night. What, what, what am I supposed to do? 
stupid zombie man. Ah. Can you imagine? Freddie, can you just take your calls? Let me, let me let me know what I'm doing in my life. you plan to do given what I said earlier. Look, if you ask me, I'll just, I'll suggest that we peacefully get a divorce. What? Vincent, it's the best thing to do given the circumstances. No! You're not thinking clearly. Rosie, you're not thinking clearly. I'm actually being logical here. You're not! Okay. Just listen. No, you listen. Don't ever say this kind of thing in this house again. Vincent. No, Vincent, just... Just hear me out. Vincent. What are you thinking about? Hey, bro, how now? I did. How far? I'm good, I'm good. What's up? You look so sad this morning. What's happening? I'm alright, I'm alright. You sure? Yeah. Okay, that's aside. Um, how far with the document I sent to you? Hmm. I've already. You haven't already, Vincent. You told me you were gonna read it first thing. I know, I know, I know. My my mind just drifted away. I'll read it. I'll read it. You know what? That's fine. I'm gonna give you time. I'll stay here. You read it and you give me your feedback. Like now. Yeah, no. Let's do it. Come no, on. I can't do that now. Vincent, why? I, I can't do that now. What's the reason? Tell me. It's noisy, guys. Noise? Vincent, this place is really quiet. Yo, it's noisy in my head right now. I can't focus. I out can't. out with it. What's troubling you? Talk to me, bro. Yeah, I'll read the document later. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. That's fine. Thanks. <sighs> My son, yes, you said there's a problem in your, in your marriage. Yes, Bishop. What is the problem? Rosie has asked me for a divorce. Why would she say that? Bishop. Rosie said she's not sexually attracted to you. As bad as I can't even peck her on the cheek. She doesn't let me touch her in the house. Now she's asked for a divorce. She must be out of her mind. For how long has this been going on? Ever since the miscarriage happened. <sighs> don't, don't know what to do. After everything you did for her? It's all right, my son. I will talk to her. Thank you, sir. I will talk to her, and I believe everything will be fine. I know the devil is at work. But he must be defeated. 
he must definitely be defeated. Hi. Okay, let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. Father, if you said in any condition, we should always reference you. Mary, your daughter, is at it again. Why has she done it? She's at it again. I don't know why this girl is bent on disgracing me. Huh? What did she do? Can you imagine Rosemary telling her husband to divorce her? What? After everything that young man has done for her. Huh? Hey, God. What did he do to her? Did he beat her? Whenever you see her, ask her that. But my take is that she will never step foot in this house. Ha! Hey! What kind of rubbish is this? What is wrong with this girl? How did we offend her? I, I, I don't even know what to think about. I don't know what to think about all this whole thing. She will never step foot into this house. What is wrong with this girl? Does she know my level in the ministry? What does she... Oh, God. God have mercy.
Um, Vincent, what are you doing? What are you doing? I have told you to let me be. What do you mean by let you be? Vincent, I am not sexually attracted to you. Don't you understand that? But, but we... But we what? Never mind. Why did you drink yourself to stupor last night? Because I'm trying to make myself happy. Do I look happy in your house? Like, I'm bored. I, Vincent, I need to leave. I need to leave. You can't just be unfair to me. No, Vincent, you are being unfair to me. Rosemary, what's the problem between you and your husband? Didn't you hear my voice? Daddy, I want out. And what's the meaning of that? Daddy, it means that I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. I don't have any feelings for him. I'm not attracted to the guy. Will you shut up your mouth? I, I, are you okay? Eh? Please, what has come over you? Nothing. Nothing has come over me, mom. I don't want to be in a marriage I never wanted to be in in the first place. I'm miserable. Are you this ungrateful? Please help me ask how. Eh? How am I ungrateful for me? How, how am I ungrateful? Oh, this is not my daughter. I can't believe this. Rosemary, is this how you want to pay back Vincent for all the good things he has done for you? <laughs> Daddy, Vincent didn't do anything for me. He didn't. He took advantage of the situation I found myself in and he made me his wife. Ah, he's an opportunist. How dare you call Vincent an opportunist? I can see that the devil has gotten hold of your head. Eh? Now listen and listen, Lou. If you dare walk out of that marriage, consider yourself fatherless. I hope you hear me right, Daddy. Rosemary, I heard everything you said. And if you ask me, I'll tell you you are very mean and inconsiderate. No, it's not you two. Not you two. Oh, why? Like, why does everybody want to have my head? Oh, why won't we want to have your head? How can you be this wicked? You owe Vincent a whole word of gratitude. Can you just stop? Stop, please. Ah, yes, Vincent married me to save me from shame. Fine and good, God bless him. But he had his own motives. Ah, I am not attracted to this guy. Do you want me to, 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 to become an adulterer? And re because I want to remain in a marriage. Oh, so you didn't know all these things when he came to marry Rosemary? You didn't know? I told him when he asked me out that he's like a brother to me. Oh, wow. How convenient. All of a sudden, he's like a brother to you. So you didn't know that. When you were pregnant and he came to marry you, you didn't know he was like a brother to you. You know what, Doris? I don't want to have this conversation with you. Stop. I don't want to have this conversation with you. You are selfish. Very, very selfish. Look here. I'm still your senior sister. I will slap you if you talk to me anyhow. What's wrong with you? You get out of my room. Mm, it's not your room. Go back to your husband's house. Oh, mm -hmm. my guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess what I saw you found today? Who? Oh. Annabelle. Annabelle? Yeah. <laughs> she now works in the bank? No. She came to make me draw up. I mean, oh, she been out after you go. Um, I tell her, say, you don't marry. And she was like, she knows, bro. She knows? Yeah. Annabelle. I'm surprised she knows. Hey, babe. Good afternoon. Rosemary, how are you? Good. You? Good. Mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't tell me you were coming. Sit. No, that won't be necessary. I came to give you something. What's that? Our divorce papers. Yeah. Please sign them and return them to me today. Thank you. Bye, Joe. Bye. My guy. Divorce papers. Bro, this is legit. Wait, wait, wait. You mean? Welcome back. Thank you. Can I have the divorce papers, please? Okay. 
trash them. You did what? I threw them where they belong. Vincent, I swear I'm out of your house first thing tomorrow morning, whether you like it or not. You have done everything. What else do you want me to do? Vincent, can you just leave me alone? Please, I'm tired. I'm, even me, I'm tired. Like, are, are we going to keep doing this? I, I don't even understand anymore. I've been begging you, please. Vincent, just... <sighs> Rosie. Rosie! Very good care of yourself. You need to look after yourself carefully, especially now that you're pregnant. Um, I'll speak with you no, now. No, 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 doctor, hold on. Did you say pregnant? Yes. Who is pregnant? You're pregnant, amongst other tests. No, 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 no. Is this a quack hospital or something? I beg your pardon. Don't I need a man to impregnate me? I've not had sex since the miscarriage. What are you talking about? Madam, amongst all the tests that we conducted, we ran a pregnancy test on you. And it came back positive. In fact, you're two weeks gone. <laughs> you must be joking. No, Vincent, it's not fine. Uh, madam, the test came in positive. I'll tell the nurse to prepare your bill. Huh? Take care of yourself. Okay, okay, there must be camera somewhere because... Am I on the show? Vincent, how, how... I've not had sex in ages. Do you have? When? With me. Okay, okay, at this point you're delusional. When did we have sex? How? Do you remember the night that I came home and you were passed out drunk on the floor? I took you upstairs. Vincent, you took advantage of me. No, you asked me, you wanted it and I, I wanted it as well. So, I mean, I've always wanted it. So, you asked me to do it, so of course I did it. What you're telling me is that you took advantage I of me. I was drunk. I don't know. I didn't take advantage of you. you How could you do that? You wanted oh it. Oh my God. How could you do that? You, you asked me to sleep with you. Vincent. You begged me to sleep with you. That's what happened. Vincent, how could you do this to me? Yeah. <laughs> 
My dear, sometimes in life, what you ask for is not what you're giving. Sometimes you might ask for A, and Providence will give you B. What is more important is what you do with it. I am a woman. When I hear you say you're not sexually attracted to him, I understand what you're saying. Believe me, I understand. But when life throws lemon at you, you make lemonade out of it. Listen. Do it for me. Do it for the baby you're carrying. Stay in your marriage, at least for one or two years. Let it be your own sacrifice in making it work. Sometimes they would caution. See, Vincent is a good man. In life, a man can be everything. But if he doesn't have a good heart, he remains a less man to me. Believe me. Okay? All right? I'm your mother. I won't lead you astray. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Rosemary, my love, how are you? Mm -hmm. Baby girl, I called you over here for us to talk like father and daughter discussion, okay? You see, um, see my daughter, let me tell you something. Marriage is a very complex but a beautiful institution ordained by God. And the circumstance in which you got married wasn't an easy one. I understand. I try to know what you are going through. Huh? I know what you are passing through. But my daughter, let me tell you a story. I wasn't supposed to get married to your mother. My mother introduced your mother to me and said she is a very nice woman, just like they say these days. I told her someone I want to get married to, that I'm in love. So we had an agreement and counter agreement. At the end, I have to allow my mother's wish to prevail. But sooner or later, I get to understand that what she was saying was true. 
See, my daughter, if I have to get married again, I will choose your mother over and over again. Because I have found out that she's a good woman. Just like what my mother said. You see? Now I can see a little smile on your face. So, my daughter, the issue about sexual attraction we are talking about is just a pain of mind. Please, baby girl, zero your mind, zero your mind to love that man called your husband. You will see that you are going to love this man called your husband. Just give it a little push. Even if it's not for anybody, just for my own sake. You know you are my beloved daughter. Please, put it for any, not for anybody. Just do it for my sake. Okay? Please, my love. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father. Oh my God, baby, I'm so happy. Thank you. I can't believe you can't come for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's the least I could do. It's the least I could do. Turn around, turn around. Oh my God! Go again! I know you love shoes. So thank you. I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few for you. I got a few for you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so what do you want? What do you want? Anything? Just um, anything? Mm -hmm. Um, why don't we um, go upstairs? Yeah. Vincent, let's go to my Chinese restaurant. Okay, I mean that, that's also doable. Then we, when we come back, um, I'll think about it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're Thank you. It's so beautiful. Wow. Wait. How did you figure out my love language? <laughs> Doris. Doris. <laughs> that girl. That girl. So she has me figured out now. <laughs> I can't That's wait to wear this. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to see you wear it. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I think this is the perfect opportunity to tell you that I don't want to get a divorce anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, are, you, are you serious? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what to say. Really? Are we doing this now? Okay. <laughs> 